Mixed connective tissue disease is a very serious autoimmune condition. It's a disease that consists of different symptoms from different autoimmune conditions. It's an overlap between lupus, scleroderma, and myositis. Most doctors learn about mixed connective tissue disease, also known as MCTD in medical school. But most doctors probably will not see a case after they graduate medical school, or they will see very few cases. Unless, of course, if you're a rheumatologist. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Yu. I'm a board-certified integrative rheumatologist. And today, we're gonna to be talking about the early warning signs of mixed connective tissue disease that your doctor can miss. So mixed connective tissue disease can be quite difficult and challenging to diagnose because it's a mix of different symptoms from different autoimmune diseases. And there are some features of lupus, some features of scleroderma, and some features of myositis all wrapped in to this one disease. So I'm a rheumatologist, so I've seen quite a few patients with mixed connective tissue disease in my career. And I will tell you, sometimes it can be hard to treat because of the advanced stages of this disease. And because the symptoms are a mix of different autoimmune conditions, it can be easily missed by your doctor. So one of the labs that we look for in mixed connective tissue disease is a RNP antibody. When we see mixed connective tissue disease, we expect the ANA to be high and the RNP antibody to be high. The RNP antibody is specific for mixed connective tissue disease. So when you have your doctor run the ANA, also known as the anti-nuclear antibody, you wanna make sure they run the reflex, which not includes the titer, which is the number and how high the ANA level is, but also it will reflex to the different other antibodies that can turn up positive after the ANA turns up positive, and that includes the RMP antibody. So let's get started to talk about the early warning signs of mixed connective tissue disease because you don't wanna catch this disease late because it can be debilitating at its later stages. Early sign number one of mixed connective tissue disease is Raynaud's phenomenon. Raynaud's phenomenon is when your fingers or your toes turn blue, purple, red, and white, either in the cold or some patients, it's so severe that in the warm weather that their fingers and toes can change colors as well. And this happens because the vessels clench down, it's called a vasospasm and that turns the fingers and toes different colors. Now, this condition doesn't have to be related to an autoimmune condition. Sometimes patients have Raynaud's phenomenon and it can be benign, but it is an early warning sign. So if you see Raynaud's phenomenon in a patient or yourself, it could be a clue that you could have future mixed connective tissue disease. Another early warning sign of mixed connective tissue disease is joint pain and stiffness. Joint pain and stiffness is also known as arthritis. And of course, you can see arthritis in lupus, you can see it in many different rheumatic autoimmune conditions. But in mixed connective tissue disease, you can also have arthritis as well. So if you have Raynaud's phenomenon and you have arthritis together, you still haven't narrowed down exactly the diagnosis. But you can clue in to say, listen, this patient has Raynaud's phenomenon, and arthritis. It could be scleroderma, it could be lupus, or it could be mixed connective tissue disease. Now, a future of mixed connective tissue disease that is shared with myositis, which is an inflammatory autoimmune attack of the muscles, is muscle weakness and pain in the muscles. So when you have muscle pain and muscle weakness, you have to think of also mixed connective tissue disease. And when you get this, you wanna run the labs called aldolase, and creatinine kinase, also known as CK, because when these labs are elevated, it's a sign that there's inflammation and an attack on the muscles, because the muscles are releasing these enzymes and molecules out in the body. Not only do you wanna look for arthritis, but you also wanna look for puffy hands. Puffy hands and fingers is also an early warning sign of mixed connective tissue disease. So don't miss that sign as well. So if you're having arthritis and puffy hands, think of mixed connective tissue disease because not many diseases in rheumatology causes puffy hands in general. Of course, you don't wanna miss other signs of mixed connective tissue disease such as fatigue and brain fog. 
This isn't very specific to mixed connective tissue disease, but when you see fatigue and brain fog in a patient, you want to think of an autoimmune condition or some other problem that's driving this. It could be raging diabetes, it could be multiple sclerosis, or something else at a very early stage. So you want to run a bunch of labs before you can come to a conclusion that this patient may have an early stage of an autoimmune condition. So make sure your doctor gets a thorough workup if you're coming in with fatigue and brain fog. Shortness of breath. This is a severe and crucial symptom that you cannot miss. So if you are having trouble walking up the stairs, whereas before you didn't have problems with that, or if you're short of breath even at rest, then you really want to consider mixed connective tissue disease, especially if you see the other symptoms that I just mentioned. Because mixed connective tissue disease can cause scarring and inflammation of the lungs, also known as interstitial lung disease. And when this happens, you can become short of breath to the point that even lying in bed, you can be short of breath and you may need oxygen. But that's at a later stage in the development of this disease. So if you're getting short of breath early on, you want to see a pulmonologist and you want to get a pulmonary function test and a CT scan just to make sure that you don't have any inflammation of the lungs. Because when you combine shortness of breath and interstitial lung disease among the other symptoms that I just mentioned, it's a big clue that you could have this disease. And finally, you can have skin tightening, which is a feature that you see in scleroderma. So the fingers can be very tightened and other parts of the body can be tightened as well. So that's a feature that's shared between misconnected tissue disease and scleroderma. And you want to watch out for rashes as well. Rashes can also be seen in mixed connective tissue disease. So as you can see, a lot of these symptoms affect many different organs and different body parts. So mixed connective tissue disease, like I mentioned earlier, is a disease that shares features with other rheumatic autoimmune conditions such as lupus, scleroderma, and myositis, and even rheumatoid arthritis as well which is why it can be very difficult to diagnose, especially if the labs are not crystal clear. So you want to look for an RMP antibody and a high ANA level. I know the symptoms that I just mentioned can be very confusing. And if you are struggling to get answers for your condition, please don't give up because eventually you can get a diagnosis. And for those of you that have mixed connective tissue disease, I understand how hard it can be, but you have to keep fighting on and keep trying to find ways to heal. If you need a rheumatologist or you need a doctor that specializes in chronic complex illnesses, you can find me at drlifestyle.org. Or if you want to learn more about autoimmune conditions, you want education and courses, and you want to listen to my podcast, you can find it at www.myautoimmd.com. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe button as it will help support me getting this word out for those that need it the most. And please comment below on whether you have mixed connective tissue disease or not, or whether these symptoms match up with some of the signs that you're experiencing as well. All right, I'll see you guys next time.